This is Twit. This is just sort of a fun tip. Um, there's there there's been some talk going around about a so a so-called God mode in Windows 10. Uh, it's sort of a weird kludge. You create, and I mean, bizarre that Windows 10 does this, but you you name a folder a one, one of those wacky uh, uh, globally unique IDs, you know, a, a, a GUID. And when you, when you do that, that sort of enables this God mode, which is a whole bunch of Windows setting things contained in, in the folder. Uh, you know, our listeners may have heard that Microsoft is attempting to simplify, uh, in quotes, and eventually eliminate the traditional Windows control panel that I and probably a lot of our listeners appreciate. It's nice to have all that stuff in one place. Microsoft, in their infinite wisdom, has decided, oh, that's confusing. So we're going to just chop it all up and move it around and put it, like, make it more context aware or something. No. Anyway, that's, <laughs> that's what they're doing. Um, so I did some digging and I found a site and an app that neither of which I knew about. Uh, if you Google extended God mode, you will find it. I've also got it in the, uh, in the show notes. Uh, a guy by the name of Peter Paniz, P-A-N-I-S-Z, has a site, windtools.info. Um, I'm very impressed. I don't know how it's taken me so long to stumble over windtools.info, but uh, this guy has written a bunch of nice free slash donation wear. Um, the, uh, for his description of his extended God mode, he said, the original God mode contains more than 200 items depending upon your configuration and operating system version. He says extended God mode, which is his zero installation app, which you just run, complements these functions with the admin tools the, and control panel elements. It displays all setting options in a single interface and allows access to them grouped in several ways according to different criteria. Extended God mode uh, also includes a powerful search engine. Individual searches can be saved to create groups of settings. Extended God mode supplements default God mode with the following features. A quick search by item name. Searches can be saved. You can have managed favorites. Uh, display recently used item. Most used elements. Integration of control panel and admin tools. Uh, which can be disabled, quick access to each setting, blah, 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 and support 64-bit Windows 7, 8, not 9, but 10. Um, and uh, he's got a beta for 32-bit versions in the works. Uh, free of charge, no install required. On my Windows 7 machine this morning, it listed 340 individual problem-solving applets, Again, you don't have to install it. You just run the exe. It's a, it's like 437k or something. I mean, this guy, and he's got a bunch of other goodies. So, uh, windtools.info gets my top recommendation. Um, uh, and there's like four pages of of freeware stuff that he's got. So, uh, I'm just I'll be very surprised if you don't find something tasty and delicious. Uh, and thank me. And in fact, this gadget is so nice that it inspired me to create a new permanent thread in my blog at the new GRC forums, you know, forums.grc.com. Uh, I have a my favorite utilities, apps and services. Or I think I said goodies, utilities, goodies and services or something like that. Uh, I added sync.com and sync thing in addition to this extended God mode. Uh, and over time I'll be, oh, and I also put a, a, an entry for a PF sense and my preferred PF sense hardware little box, uh, which I really like. So I'll be extending that thread over time 
uh, to just it's a place for me to sort of keep our listeners apprised of those of these things that I find and and really think are tremendous. Uh, and I it was funny. I, I noted that it was one year ago, Leo, on October 1st of 2019 was the Joy of Sync podcast <laughs> where I talked I about yeah. both Sync.com and Sync Thing. Uh, I'm still completely happy with Sync.com, and I put a link in there uh, in in my thread to the uh, to the referral link, which will give our listeners a free gig in addition to the first five that are free that you just get for setting up a free account. And I'm 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 so dependent upon Sync.com, and of course, you and I are both fans of Sync Thing, Love which it. is a yeah. non-cloud peer-to-peer. Uh, synchronizer, which, you know, again, a, another example of just doing everything right. So very impressed. Yep. 